Hi, I'm Roger Oman, engineer and product manager with Crosby, and welcome to this edition of Ask the Expert. Today, I'm answering an anonymously submitted question about the use of synthetic ropes in blocks. The question is, can I run synthetic rope in my block? Well, there's a wide variety of natural and synthetic ropes being used in our industries with different construction types and material properties, many different manufacturers. Each of these ropes come with a unique set of performance characteristics and limitations for safe use. It is very important to always follow the recommendations provided by the rope manufacturer. In general though, synthetic ropes require a smooth, round groove that is slightly bigger than the rope. Essentially the same requirements that make for a proper wire rope groove. One key difference between wire rope and synthetic rope is the nominal diameter when in new condition. A new wire rope may be 2 or 3% larger than the nominal size, whereas a new synthetic rope could be 10% larger. Therefore, the shift groove for synthetic rope should be larger than an equivalent groove for wire rope, a minimum of 10% larger than nominal size. A brand new shiv for wire rope from Crosby will be between 6 and 10% bigger than nominal, so we would need to go up one size to always ensure it's big enough. Let's look at some examples. First, let's say you're replacing half inch wire with half inch synthetic rope on a crane to do some utility work. And the crane's block is designed for half inch wire rope. In this case, we would recommend a different block because the, gro the groove should be larger. Another example, let's say you have a snatch block with 5 eighths to 3 quarter inch marked on the side plate, like this one. You could use up to 5 eighths synthetic rope without concern of the groove being too small. You could even technically use a half inch synthetic rope in the same block but best practice is to ensure the markings on the side plate match the rope being used. For new blocks that are planned to be used with synthetic ropes, Crosby recommends the name plate be specially marked to prevent accidental use with an incompatible rope. Thank you very much for the great question. See you next time on Ask the Expert.